we have this special connector on the end of the fiber. And it's an adjustable connector. There's a little ring on the back here called a locking ring. And there's a little knob on the back, little adjustment screw on the back for adjusting the amount that the furl, the white part, actually sticks out. So if you loosen that locking nut and bring it back, by turning this section, you actually change the distance that the furl will stick out from the end of the connector. And that gives us our z-axis control. So let's first illustrate the function by using it with a collimator to generate a collimated beam and showing how we can adjust the focus of that collimated beam. So we'll take our fiber and we'll plug it inside our receptacle. And tighten the nut. And right now we have a fairly large beam on our screen. But once we loosen our locking nut, move it out of the way, we can adjust the focus here. And as I turn it, you can see how the beam is getting smaller and smaller. And we can generate quite a small spot on our screen. If we want to, we can keep going and generate a large beam again on the other side. So, depending on how we adjust this, we can get a collimated beam, a focused beam, or a diver diverging beam. Once we have what we want, we simply put the locking nut on, thread it on, and we're ready to go.